Russian oligarch Alisha Usmanov's $735 million Supyot Dilbar, the largest in the world? Has been impounded in Germany. This post received a score of 22,000, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. What's with Russians and Yatches? Good way to offshore money. I would have thought they depreciated quite fast. Not nearly as fast as the ruble. Dilbar. Named after his mother lol. His mother got impounded. They could have had a battleship with that kind of money why are billionaires so fucking boring. There was a super yacht docked in Norfolk, Virginia back in 2008 or 2009 that was painted up to look like a battleship. Shit had a helicopter on the top, another entire boat that popped out the side and like four jet skis that also popped out the side. The second largest yacht in the world, at that time, also owned by a Russian oligarch, has inbuilt missile system. I also remember when this was docked in my city, a helicopter was gonna land on it and crashed into the water. Sadly the Russian cunt WASNT in it though. You're probably talking about Roman's yacht the Eclipse. It doesn't just have a missile system. It has a missile system, missile detection system, tons of guns and automated self-defense systems and apparently a laser system to help prevent people from taking pictures of certain parts of it. It also has a fucking submarine in it. However, he rarely actually uses it and it's usually chartered out by other, less rich, people. One reason why security on super yachts do not have firearms is that it would prevent them from visiting a lot of countries. How do they get it into different ports with missiles on board? These super yachts and mega yachts have auxiliary yachts that will take them to and from port or go into smaller harbors. So I'd imagine the mega yacht would stay out in international water and then the auxiliary yachts would take them to land or a helicopter cuz that was the thing. If not that as long as the missiles aren't on board it should be fine, I'm assuming. E. Sisman on YouTube talked about the myth of firearms on vessels. He went through the logistics of trying to do this with support vessels. I can also not imagine any Navy allowing a vessel that is known to be equipped with missiles into their waters even if they said they were disarmed. At what point is it cheaper to buy the yacht manufacturer and make the yacht yourself? One of the bigger builders is a cooperative of family-owned builders, called Fedship. It'll be hard to pry that pride out of their hands. Edit. Formatting and Grammar. Do oligarchs ever smile? Every photo I see, they're always frowning or looking concerned. What the hell is there to be so down about? The guy next door has a bigger yacht? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.